We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Mile High Chronic take on the Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah! Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. The he might catch him. Move you fat little Newton. Touchdown! I would have thought you had to have muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my head. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and five. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Sure, my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down and long. Intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, says the defender. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. He picks up a two. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. 
And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. You need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Second down in a lot. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Third and four. Hot. Hot one. And the defense gets another pick. Man. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Which I know, I hate those zebra men. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. You are taking some better than time. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And they run it for a couple of yards. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, 
man, he really wants it. Oh, that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Defense goal, work speed. Man, that defender just boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. First and eight to go. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll be second down and four. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down and two. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice cream. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And the defense spiked the offensive water with strawberry fields. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender, and he picks up nine yards on. 
on that catch. Third and four. He could go all the way. Here comes the defense. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and one. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that's another turnover for the... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> hit. You can 86 this guy, Bricks. Uh, I never learned how to count that high. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hit. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. Oh, <laughs> Third down and well, good luck. Hot one, hot two. Hot two. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. 
Ash. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The 30. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. Whoa, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? <laughs> Third down and, well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And that pass is good for about five yards. I don't have to... And that's it, that's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can... Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And that's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult it. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. He refuses to hit like bricks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. One, hot two. He is automatic! Nice kick! Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify.
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Brim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown! What a great defensive play! <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a... No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. a vicious hit. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> and the offense says, I don't think so. They called a time warp dirty trick and negate that previous play like it never happened. Did it? Does that mean that I didn't just chug this beer, too? Or wet myself? Oh, I am so confused. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. 
Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. down and well good luck only exploding baby diapers batman that just knocked the ball loose ballsy stupid maybe i guess we'll decide after we see how this goes but probably stupid at this point with multiple interceptions the qb should just throw in the towel with the brain scrambler. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. <laughs> you know, sometimes the best defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you game for time. I only have it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Eight. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. I, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. He was st Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Second down and ten. Yeah, I've had it. I'm 
running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the sink. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just boom. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, the oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he's off to the races. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man. Oh, with the brutal hit. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right?
And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleety, and he just slipped away like a great pig. And that was a bone crusher right there. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down, the size of defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's a defense schmuck. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Second down and ten. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Cribbling? It certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hey. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions. Than oh, with the punishing hit.
He's at the 40. He's at. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Yeah, And it's first and ten. A defensive player, this guy's a brick shit house. <laughs> <laughs> Second down in a mile. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and never going to happen. And the defense fight, and he punched his way out of that tackle. <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburn. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. Ha <laughs> ha. And with another pick, the QB said, Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. Second down and five. Third down and long. Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commish makes up news. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And there's another pick. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Hey, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just... That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? 
And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Take them up the hurry-up offense. There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of... Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Not one, not two, three. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And it's first and ten. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. <laughs> and, and the defense gets another pick. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. The Hellboys come away with a big win today. And a big slab of barbecue, Grim! It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and guts sucking Zan body is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40-yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable brickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.